these unforgettable superstars have left a permanent mark on history. Join Ms. Mojo as we count down our picks for the top 10 most iconic female singers of all time. For this list, we're counting down the most culturally relevant and iconic female singers from the 50s to today. These women have set themselves apart through creativity, perseverance, and sheer popularity. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. Picking on the weaker man. Number 10, Taylor Swift. You can take me down with just one single blow. Whereas artists like Rihanna and Katy Perry each influenced the music industry in different ways, this crossover phenomenon has forged her own path. Of course, we're talking about Taylor Swift's willingness to engage the industry on musicians' rights, but it takes a singer of her magnitude to essentially change the world in which we live. From a musical standpoint, she's been in the public eye since the spawn of YouTube. And in the 2010s alone, Taylor released three consecutive number one albums. I've got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. Given the massive success of the eclectic 1989, she isn't just the top singer of the decade, she's one of the most powerful female musicians ever. I shake it off, I shake it off. Number 9, Britney Spears. I think I did it again. I made you believe. In the 2000s, many pop artists emerged and contributed heavily to existing trends, but here's an icon that established her own precedent. Whether or not you like Britney Spears' music, it's important to remember the context of her initial fame and how she affected the landscape of her genre. I'm not with 2000's Oops I Did It Again, she referenced bubblegum pop ideology, yet it became clear that she was searching for something more, trying to find herself as a woman while progressing as an artist. Though her career didn't come without a few speed bumps, Britney ultimately came out a pop culture icon and set the tone for 21st century pop music. Number 8, Celine Dion. I'm your lady. No All Timeless would be complete without Celine Dion and her classic tear jerking song, My Heart Will Go On. My heart will go on after recording music in French in the 80s, Celine's career really began to take off after she switched to English during the 90s, and especially with her Peebo Bryson collaboration, Beauty and the Beast, for the Disney movie. And from there, the rest is history. Her beautiful ballads and stunning vocals have earned her so much popularity that she is yet another of the top-selling female artists of all time. I can Number 7, Beyonce. While some musicians tap into cultural trends with hopes of staying relevant, others realize their importance on a higher level and become a brand. And well, Beyonce just operates on a different level than most. From 2003's Dangerously in Love to B-Day to I Am Sasha Fierce, Beyonce brought us into her world on a personal level while still remaining elusive. And that's a testament to her supreme talent as a vocalist and performer. All that to say, Beyonce is so good that she makes anything look easy, whether personally and professionally. She's a top-level singer, but it's the creative vision that makes her a mythical figure to some. Number 6, Whitney Houston. Boy, I know, he's the one I dream 
When Whitney Houston dropped her debut album in 1985, the vocal superiority left many speechless. But as a blossoming pop star, Whitney Houston needed the right set of songs, and luckily her label came through. By the late 80s, young Whitney Houston had already broken the world record for consecutive number ones, and she was ready to lead the way into a new decade. Step by step, you know the 90s saw Whitney enjoy a huge international breakthrough as both a singer and actress with the Bodyguard movie, and I Will Always Love You from its soundtrack. With many other hits from her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner to the beautiful When You Believe. When you believe She was a truly talented and much loved artist. Love you. Come on, come on, come on. Number five, Madonna. The eighties were a time when female artists of various genres were trying to find their way. Madonna ultimately set the tone capitalizing to the fullest on sexuality, femininity, and the paradox when contrasted with her own name. This queen of pop is known for her ever-changing style, controversial music, and incredible stage presence. Take the the night is over. Madonna will go on to make the 90s her own, from the theatrical beat of Vogue in 1990 to the mysterious melancholy of Frozen in 1998. As a reviewer of one of her performances said at the time, love or hate Madonna, she's a magnet for all eyes. We couldn't put it better than that. Number 4, Mariah Carey. You can have me when you want me. Here she is, everybody's favorite diva. And with those spectacular vocal cords, how could we not pick her? She has the looks, the voice, and the songs. And with all of those, she took the 90s by the reins and cracked her whip. After starting with sneaking the radio into her bed to sing along at the age of four, she has blossomed into one of the world's most successful artists. Whether you're in the mood for a thoughtful ballad or some perky pop, Mariah Carey's got her finger on the play button. For a woman who suffers from stage fright, we can only applaud you and your success. Number three, Tina Turner. Coming to fame with Ike Turner, Tina's a multifaceted woman that knew how to get it done. With a career dating back to the 50s, Tina Turner presented an alternative sound to the more popular R&B sounds of her time, leading up to the duo's most successful release entitled Working Together. Working together, we can make a change. Working together, we can eventually established herself as a true independent woman with four iconic 70s releases. In the 80s, the anthemic What's Love Got To Do With It ultimately became one of her signature tracks. And Turner's follow-up studio album produced a full eight singles, proving the diva's 80s dominance. Number two, Ella Fitzgerald. And the living is easy. Though many female artists have innovated their respective genres over the decades, Lady Ella was truly the first lady of song. In the sunshine of your love. 
emerging as a teenage performer during the early 30s, Ella Fitzgerald paid her dues in the industry, all the while struggling as a female artist with no precedent to study. And so when pop music took on a different sound in the 50s, the Queen of Jazz was more relevant than ever, as a vocal inspiration for any female artist with the desire to improve their craft. And she even brought Frank Sinatra out of retirement in the 70s. I get too hungry for dinner at eight. Not many people have that type of dominance. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Aretha Franklin. You're no good, heartbreaker. You're a liar and you're a cheat. Some people learn to sing, and some are naturally good enough to perform with the best. But Aretha Franklin is in a category all her own. You make me feel like a natural woman. It's not that she didn't pick up a few tricks from her predecessors like any committed singer would. It's just that Aretha was obviously born to sing. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. By 1960, at the age of 18, the journey began. However, given the racism of the American 60s and an industry dominated by male executives, even a voice like Aretha's took some time to earn the proper amount of R-E-S-P-E-C-T. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Once her famous single dropped in 1967, well, there was no turning back. A voice like hers can always warm the heart and touch the soul of even the most hardened individual. So do you agree with our selections? Who do you think is the most iconic female singer of all time? For more musical top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Ah!